Hola community, today I have three things to share with you. One is a release candidate update, second is training, and third one is some numbers slash stats that are fun to share. So yes, there is a new release candidate in town, the second one, hopefully the last one. There were so many reports last week, we're gonna see that in a bit, But so thank you for reporting, but some of them were like crashes on graphics cards, so people switching to EV and then crashing, especially on Intel graphics cards, so a lot of them got fixed, over 70 bucks got fixed in need so yes go download uh, go to blender door slash download and uh, try it again please one last time to see if we can get the most stable release out there so once you are downloading blender uh, you can get the, a grasp of the basic. If you're watching this channel, you probably already know, but still it's good to go through the Blender fundamentals. This series was launched last year for 2.7, but now has been updated for Blender 2.8. So you can actually see all, learn all the stuff like collections, workspaces, all the new, all the new um, parts and the old ones updated for 2.8. It's really good also if you know people that are switching to Blender and uh, it's nice to to go through it uh, once again. The other section also shows the Blender Today live streams, which I'm doing over at the Blender Foundation YouTube channel, same place where the fundamentals are. So it's nice to, to stay up to date with that. So we're leaving that aside. Let's talk about numbers because we keep asking you about reporting bugs every week. Please report bugs and you have done it. You have done a great, great job. So it's nice to share these numbers. Thanks to Francesco for making these graphics. So uh, the download count, for example, the day of the release candidate here, everybody switched from downloading the experimental builds, this yellow line, to downloading the release candidate. So that is awesome. Thank you for doing that, really focusing on that one version. Then after that, you can see that people still download the stable, 2.7 is still popular, um, but everybody switched to release candidate, which is great. Then uh, some uh, kept downloading the, the development version. This also over many days, so people stay uh, uh, updating their versions. And this is, this is the, the thing that I wanted to share, is the number of issues reported. So the name of the, the day of the release candidate, these are the, the red line is people reporting issues. So bam, you did it. You went, you checked, you checked all the files, you reported them. And it's also nice to say, uh, uh, and like to give a shout out to the developers, which actually on the same day, more uh, bugs got, uh, or f uh, got uh, fixed or closed. Close as duplicate, this line over here, it shows that like 20% were duplicates. So please, when you're reporting, make sure you check out maybe some of the issues were already reported, Mary, um, and just search for the something similar. And uh, yeah, this is actually very, very exciting. People are reporting issues, f getting fixed. And uh, this last one, it's also interesting because it shows on a red line the reported issues, the one the, that you report, and in yellow, on, in sorry, in blue, the ones that got closed by the developers. So before the release candidate, here's the release candidate. So before it, the developers were on a roll. They were actually closing more issues that people were reporting. But <laughs> on that day, something happened, the release candidate happened, and people have been reporting more issues than we are uh, able to fix and close. So yes, it's yeah, it's a lot of work, more issues coming than people can report. So I will leave with a note about the Blender Development Fund, which is getting a huge update. Now the target is no longer 50K, but 100K, so we can get even more people in. And uh, thanks for to all the companies and the people and the community to you for contributing to this because this is exactly where it, uh, where the effort go to keep Blender stable, to make it as rock stable as possible so you can use it on your productions as soon as possible. So yes, it's nice to be able to share this news with you, the release candidate, the announcement from Epic, there are also some announcements coming. So yes, the future is bright, but the present is RT2, release candidate. Please go test it, 
try open your old files if it doesn't crash it's okay if it looks a bit weird maybe it's also okay because it was rendered internal and uh, some some things can be left aside but if it crashes please report it because that's what we're trying to avoid having the best blender yet thanks for watching and i'll talk to you in the next video ciao